everyone, thanks so much for joining me. I'm Helen, this is the Shrimpy McGee channel. Welcome to all of you who might be new here. What I do on my channel is lots of hair stuff. I uh, do a lot of stuff about using Rogaine, which this video is gonna be about, but I also do some other fun celebrity stuff too, like different celebrity hairstyles and stuff like that. So I hope you check that out as well. I'll be sure to link that up. But what I wanted to talk to you guys today is about Rogaine and I thought I would do a one year update one of the very first videos I did that did really well for my channel and is continuing to sort of pick up steam is this video that I did about how I use Rogaine and sort of before and after pics. And everyone seems to be really enjoying that and I still get questions and comments in that video and you're welcome to leave me a question or comment in that video. I'll be sure to link that one up or you can leave one here as well. And I honestly do my very best to get back to everybody. I have a really great track record for answering questions. So if you have any, and if I can humanly answer it, you know I'll be there and I will either give you an answer from my own experience or try and find an answer for you. So feel free to get in touch. Uh, so yeah, one year later, almost, it's a little bit before one year, but I just purchased my third batch of Rogaine foam. So I thought this is a great time to make a video and just also to update you guys to show you what my hair looks like after one year. So here it is. I'm having a relatively good hair day, so I thought I would pop on and make a video about it. My hair has right now no fibers in it, no spray, nothing like that. So this is pretty much what I get after I sort of um, wash it, completely let it dry. I used a thickening shampoo and conditioner called Viviscal, and I've made a video about that one as well, of course, uh, to show you guys how that was working for me. And it continues to do a really nice job. It's not too dry, but it's not too heavy. I mean, it's just leaving my hair with quite a bit of texture, which is what you want when you want to sort of make it look thicker, uh, which I think it's done a really nice job of doing. My hair, if it were straightened, I just wanna say, would be really fine and flat looking. And part of the reason that it doesn't is I'm lucky I have quite a bit of natural wave in my hair. I'm not sure if you can see it, but you'll see that these bits are kind of they're kind of going like this. <laughs> so, and same goes for here and all of the rest of it. So that gives it quite a bit of lift from the roots. Um, so if my hair were very flat and straight, which it is not, uh, it would look a lot flatter and straighter and thinner. And that is exactly how my hair looks when I straighten it with a flat iron. So yeah, so part of the reason my hair looks this fluffy today is not just the shampoo and the conditioner and the Rogaine, of course those all help, but also just the nature of my hair itself, which is kind of this uneven wave, which sounds glorious, but actually in reality is kind of messy and it takes maintenance. It looks, it's, it's what you would call unmanageable, but I will not complain because at least I have hair right now. This was not the case about a year ago. As is well documented here, feel free to have a look at my playlist where I get into all of this like hair loss and Rogaine and stuff. About a year ago, I started lo losing like lots and lots of my hair to the point where I had a pretty decent looking bald spot in the back. You can go back and look at my videos about that, but that's pretty much resolved. It's not totally resolved right now, so I'm gonna turn my head so you can have a look and see what it is you're gonna see. I don't know, but hopefully the camera picks it up. Rogaine has helped grow that in so, so well. I'm super happy with this product and I will continue to use it. And I was very much considering switching over to the liquid, which I'm just gonna talk about briefly. A lot of people love using the liquid. It's less expensive than the foam and uh, probably easier to put in. And I was going to, but here where I am in Canada, I couldn't find any 5% liquid. So if that's a thing, can you let me know if you're like in the United States or elsewhere and you're seeing 5% minoxidil liquid? Because I cannot find it at that strength here. I'm only finding like 2%. So I thought to myself, am I really gonna go down from 5%, which is working brilliantly for me? Am I really gonna go down to 2%? And the answer is, not right now. Maybe at some point in the future where I'm confident my hair is not gonna just all fall out again, I will. But right now I just thought, you know what? The foam is working so well for me, it may as well just make this small investment it's ridiculously priced because I don't have access to a generic foam here where I am. Um, but if you do have access to generic foam and you're liking it, maybe keep going with it. If it's working for you, I'm gonna keep going with the Rogaine foam, the brand name stuff, because it's working for me. It doesn't leave a fragrance. My hair is easy to style. And I'm just afraid to rock the boat. I'm sure you guys have been there before, right? Like when something's working, when it comes to your hair, you just wanna keep going with it. You don't wanna, you don't wanna stop, at least I don't. So look, I'm on my third box. 
Here it is, it's a three pack. So how could it be in my third box after a year? Let me explain the math to you. The first time I bought a three pack like this, uh, it's supposed to last three months, but it, you use it twice a day if you're a man. But I'm a woman and so the suggestions for women is that you only use it one time a day at this concentration, which is 5%. So that's what I've been doing. I use it one time a day for me in the morning. And so you can understand then the math is like, it's not three months, then it's six months because you're only using it one time a day instead of two times a day. Hope you guys are following me so far. So at the six month point, I got another box of it. And so now we're almost at the one year, you know, I'm just shy by about a month, maybe even less of the one year mark. And so I've had to repurchase it because it just ran out. So that's three purchases. And let me tell you, I could not be happier with this product. I have filled in all the really sort of wide, you know, part that I had here. So like I said, right now, I'm not using any fibers and I will go a little closer. Let's see if you can see, you know, is this as thick as I would love it to be? No. Is it as thick as it used to be? Also, no, I used to have such thick hair you just could barely see my scalp at all. And so that is not the case, but hey, I will take it. For me, that's not bad. I could totally go out without any fibers or spray right now. So I'm totally into it. And um, yeah, I'm just happy to be, I'm happy to have a product that works really well for me. So I thought is another kind of interesting thing. We might look at this booklet itself because I will be the first to admit that I don't always read these things and I don't know how well I read this, but there are some answers in here that I keep, of questions that I keep getting, so I thought it could be useful to have a look. It's just this teeny little leaflet, I guess you would call it, that comes inside the packaging, but I'm pretty sure you can just find this on the Rogaine website. I'm sure they have an FAQ section. So this is 5% minoxidil foam. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, it says super clearly here, not for use, by women. I don't know how well this is gonna pick up, but let's see. It says very, very clearly that women are not supposed to use it. I'm clear to use the men's, so I will continue to use the men's. The men's is a lot cheaper than the women's. That's all I have to say about it. For those of you who might know what the difference is, can you just leave me a comment below if you've tried both the men's and the women's? Does the women's have a fragrance? I don't know, because I've never purchased it. I've been clear to use the men's, and so, I like a bargain as much as the next gal or guy, so I just purchased this one and I will continue to do so. Uh, but yeah, it says not for use by women. It doesn't explain why. I will let you draw your own conclusions about that because like I've said before, I do not want to be sued by Rogaine. <laughs> um, and yeah, of course, this is not sponsored. This is not an ad for Rogaine at all. This is just my own experiences using it and now that I've used it for a year, every single day, I feel like I'm fairly qualified to at least discuss my experience with it, which has been all positive. I've heard about other side effects, you know, hair shedding like crazy. So a lot of people seem to be afraid of that. That never happened to me. What else? Dizziness, problems with other things like that. I've never had any of that. For me, it is, the closest way I can describe it is just like using hair mousse. It dries like hair mousse. It looks like hair mousse. It goes on like hair mousse. There's almost no difference. If you ever use mousse in your hair, to me, it's pretty much the same thing. Some people said it leaves their hair oily. It has never left my hair oily, and so I'm not saying it doesn't for other people. Everybody has different body chemistry, right? So maybe for them it does it does interact with their hair and their scalp in a way that's oily. For me, no. It does sometimes look a teeny tiny bit crispy, like I have it now. I don't know if you can um, detect any sort of crispiness. No, it's feeling pretty soft right now, but once in a while if I put on quite a bit and I think I didn't massage it in super well, it will look like I have mousse in my hair, which is kind of what it is. That makes total sense to me. So let's just have a look in this leaflet and just see if there's anything that I ever missed that I've never discussed on this channel. Because let me tell you, I have a, the playlist that I mentioned and I I update my Rogan experience every once in a while. So you definitely should, should subscribe and hit that notification bell for that reason, just so that if I make new stuff, you won't miss it. And uh, I have made more, like I continue to update this hair loss stuff and Rogaine stuff and just anything that I learned that I think is helpful, I'll try and make a video on it so that it benefits you guys. Do not use this medicine if you are female. That's the number one thing that it says, which is kind of funny. Or if you have an allergic reaction, obviously. If you have untreated or treated high blood pressure, which I don't, so that's something to keep in mind. If you have baldness, not due to male pattern baldness, okay. Uh, ta -da -ta -ta. 
Any condition that affects your scalp, such as redness, inflammation, irritation, pain on touching, sunburn, or psoriasis, so don't put it on if you have any of that going on, if you have a shaved scalp or broken skin on the scalp. So I guess that makes sense, right? Because then you'll be super sensitive and you don't want like it going into a cut on your head. And if you shave your head, it's the same idea, I would imagine. If you're treated with any kind of dressing or bandage or any other topical medication on your scalp or any skin scalp problems, or if you have temporary hair loss as a result of taking certain meds like cancer chemotherapy, or having certain disease state or nutritional problems, as well as poor grooming habits, or if you have secondary syphilis. Okay then. Okay, Rogaine people, that's, that's a lot. So obviously if you're undergoing chemotherapy, you're not gonna wanna use minoxidil to regrow your hair, uh, but as someone who's been through chemotherapy, you can certainly use it when you're done chemotherapy and your hair starting to grow back in. That's pretty much what happened to me. Uh, what happened was my hair started growing in great after a chemotherapy and then, then about a one year later, I had a whole bunch of hair loss and I've gone into some other, like I said in the past, I won't go into all the details about what I think made that happen. But suffice it to say, I had some bald spots that I wanted to grow the hair back in and the Rogaine's been working great. Okay, anything else uh, interesting in this leaflet? It is treated for male pattern baldness. I'm a female, but anyway on the top of the scalp, which is called the vertex, in men aged 18 to 65. It prevents further hair loss and helps hair regrowth. It has in my case, luckily. Oh, this is important, so I, I that's right, I didn't wanna to forget to mention this. Um, most hair is, most new hair is lost within three to four months after stopping the medication. So that's a consideration, right? I've spoken about this before and I will continue to mention it. If you're gonna get on the Rogaine bus, you gotta stay on the bus, you can't hop off. Uh, how do I feel about that? I'm personally fine with it. I take a number of long-term medications. And so for me, just wearing a bit of hair mousse in my hair to have thick hair is not an issue. It's a non-issue for me. Do I like paying for it? No. Would I like to find a generic? Yes. Next time in, I'm in the United States, am I going to get the generic foam? 100%. But I just don't mind using it every single day. I'm a pretty high maintenance gal anyway. Like I like to do my hair, do my makeup, all that stuff. Taking 30 seconds, it doesn't take me more than that to put on Rogaine, doesn't really bother me. Being sort of hooked on a medication doesn't bother me. I need caffeine to wake up every single morning and I'm totally fine with that. So I'm fine with the Rogaine too. To each their own, you know, this is like a measured decision you have to make for yourself. You know, maybe you'll get to an age where you stop caring about your hair or maybe you won't, I don't know. Everybody's different or you'll just wanna stop using Rogaine and wear a topper wig, you know, which is just like a little wig that covers the, that can cover any sort of um, thinning is the word I'm looking for. To each their own, I'm totally into it. It's working amazing for me. I'm really happy with this product. Again, if you guys have any questions, just drop them for me below. I promise I will answer them. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Just a reminder to give me a like if you like this video and remember to subscribe. We'll see you soon, bye.